Hello YouTube fans, here again. And I think I've done it before and I've had a lot of fun doing this. My favourite films of a certain era. Why not this one? 1985. I say it again, my favourite films from 1985. Well, my first favourite film from that era would be Legend. That bear with me because I've got a photo of Legend. Yep, I've got about to show you. Got it on DVD. Legend, starring a very long Tom Cruise, and you've got Jim Curry looking like fucking Satan. Typical fantasy, adventure film, sword, buccaneer, and all that. Yeah, it's not a bad film, Legend. So, yeah, that's Legend from 1985. Legend. Now, my other favourite film from 1985 would have to be Fright Night. I love Fright Night. I remember going up with all the old Dracula films, so it'd be Ben Bidolster, Christopher Lee. I remember watching all the Chastity Amherst, whether it be Queens of Evil, to your Universal Vampire films. And for some reason, I sort of went off the vampire films. But I always said this, and I always stuck to it. What got me back into vampire films would have to be Fright Night, because it was that typical old Universal, the old Amor goes into the 80s. I like the character in it, I like it sort of like a, a remake of Rear Window, only with Vampire as a next door neighbour. It's an interesting person, you know the director that did, did, did um, worked on Psycho 2, also did the original Child's Play. So yeah, I do actually like the original Fight Night, classic film from that era, why not, why not. I wouldn't say it's my favourite, but I, I like the song and that would be the last one that would Moore would appear as Bond, James Bond, being a few to a kill. Like I say, I like the song by Taran Taran, which is funny enough, not long after they sang the theme song to a few to a kill, sad to say the, the pop band split up. Did they made a comeback in the early 90s. And yeah, I don't mind a few to a kill. As like I say, the only thing is, it's not as that and back as most of the ones I've the most, but I still like it. I like Jay Jones. It's not like a female version of Jaws. Um, I like Christopher Walking. I just wish they did Christopher Walking more to do, more villainy things to do. I do know there's a lot of deleted scenes, but even then there's not really a lot of villainy things to do even in the deleted scenes. And But saying that, Christopher Walking does play a good villain. I will dip in that as Soren. I do know the fact that what they used in the business, technical Fanny was a real business back that in that era when he was selling the Micah tip. And like I say, um, I do like the Bond girl, may she rest in peace, as she's sadly no longer with us. But yeah, I do actually like the song, I think it's a bit good last outing for once or more. I've seen people say, oh he's too old, he's too old, I don't think he looked that bad. For someone who was almost pushing six there at the time, I don't think he looked that bad. I don't get the fucking big five worth about, I felt he looked pretty fucking good. She had a big head of hair, she had a good race. And Stu delivered a good role as Bond, James Bond. So that's due to a kill from 1985. My other favourite films from the 80s, from 1985, would have to be... Do, 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 Pale Rider. That's right, Pale Rider. Because we all know the Westerns, the Cowboys, the Jetty Westerns died out. They died out in... The early 90s, they would stop making cowboy films. John Wayne was very, very rarely heard of. You only know, saw Tin Eastwood probably on TV, probably an old Bajetti Western, or maybe another cowboy film. Cowboys were never heard of. They, they were dead, they were like a dinosaur. But Pale Rider brought back the Western, brought back the, the cowboy. It was professing and good to see Tin Eastwood by a cowboy again. Yeah, some people say it's a remake of Sane and the Bob Divide, but I just thought I like that. You know, it's one guy, goes in the tower, it's getting fettered, he's a peaceful guy, but he's no honour at the end, but to take the law in his own hands. I bit it was a bit bloodthirsty in parts, it was a bit fire in parts, but I also like it. It had that resting feel to it. It was professing to see the cowboy get brought back to life by Clint Eastwood. So that being Pay Rider. That's a good one from 1985. The other one would have to be my favourite would be the last of um, the Mad Max films, that being Bron Thunderdome. I like the film, but I'm a bit mixed bag. But what does it going? Macy Rest in Peace. 
if the legendary Tina Turner loved the song We Don't Need Another Hero. Love that song. I think it's a good song. Definitely good. I think the only downer was the dad is a lot more mild than the original and the second Mad Max film. And nearly at the end, it felt like, in my eyes, it felt like a remake of the World Warrior, but to me it felt the World Warrior had a better card taste scene. But I do like the story to it, it's an interesting thing, it's sort of sad, it's the last time you've ever seen Mel Gibson as Mad Max, but it's a good one, that being Mad Max, but on Thunderdome. My next favourite one would be a kid's adventure film, that'd be The Doonies. Love The Doonies, it's a typical film, you can do it in your brain off, you can turn into a kid again, has a lot going for it as a kid at Fencer film. You know, you've got the villains, you've got the kids, trying to find Tessas, trying to find diamonds and rubies and all this stuff. And I like that, I thought it was a different no. It definitely was like your old school pirate at Fencer film, that being The Doonies from 1985. Let me think of other films I love from that golden era of 1985. So there I've got there's just a few places from that there. And Separados, another cowboy film from nineteen eighty five. Separados had a lot of good actors in it. You know, you had Danny Duffer, you had Jeff Bridges, you had all these actors, all these good actors. Again, Pies and Bat, the Cowboy, the Bang Bang, the Duddies, the Baddies, and all that. And I love that. I like that sort of old school bang bang you dead cowboy sort of feel. I like that, I feel it's good. Um, there's bits where it doesn't drag you, all these actors. It's like a, you can make a day, you can make a day without putting some shit off my tooth. Where's the cowboy? Where's the fucking cowboy? There it is now. Good, I've got it. Not about that, it's been annoying, stuck on my tooth. You know, you feel you've got to be stuck on your tooth, and you can see it. I had that, but yeah. Probably get rid of it in a minute, rest of you got it. So if you see a bit dap in my tooth, there you go. Yeah, that's sad, but our dolls, a good western, a bit sort of feel to it, which I like that. I'm a sucker for old cowboys, bang bang, you're dead. Um, my other favourite ones from 1985, let me think. Witness, again, another film with Danny Dover. This was when, at the time, how can I put it? Alison Ford got sick of doing Star Wars, he got sick of being noted for playing Indiana Jones. At the time, he only did two Indiana Jones films, that being Raiders, Temple of Doom. And he wanted to go more into serious roles. So, Witness to me is a good filler. It won an award in 1985. It's a cop, falls in love with a people. Other people that don't have leptics, they don't watch TV, there's no MTV and all that. And he falls in love with this woman, and it's sort of a love story. But the villains are trying to get this kid, he's a witness. Very good film, I, I always say, go for witness. And the last but least would be Rocky Four, the one that I felt sort of been the last Rocky film. The last Rocky film, and left this at the last being my favorite of 1985 because we all know a poor old cheat. Sadly, he's no longer with us, being child Refus. And I've got to be honest now, and I've got to admit, I've got to be honest, because I've the words like Ben Sarah. It's hard to watch now. The scene where Apollo T gets beaten and he dies, it's hard to watch that knowing full well that child Refus is no longer with us. But I like the idea that it was the first sort of early film of Dolph London. Um, I do like the fact they don't have the Rocky feel. One one day around the world, I do know there's a director's cut. I might one day around the world watch the director's cut. There are bits in the trailer where you do actually see bits from the director's cut, which was just deleted scenes. And I'd be interested to see that one day. But yeah, I like Rocky IV. I like the epic music in it. I like the bit where it shouts out, Dad off! Big epic fight, you want Rocky to win, you want him to go the distance, to win the one which killed his friend. Yeah, I like Rocky IV, so that's just a few films, what are my favourite, from 1985, into them, be smart, be safe, see you later.